another beautiful day of the BMW world. Today uh, we're working on the um, uh, fan blower, the casing that you know um, it has a mesh that gets um, destroyed by leaves that fall in there. Um, I showed it in my last video. You see the mesh, how it's all ripped, and the big giant hole in there, and all those leaves. So they get in there and they get into the blower, and they start making noise when you're inside the car, you hear it really loud. So, what we're gonna do today, I'll just try to get another shot. See it? It's all destroyed. And let me show you what it's supposed to look like. That's pretty much it. And what happens is the, this shield, I mean not shield, this fabric here is really soft. I'm not even sure what and you see it's not like see it can come off easy this gets i guess when the blower is is on it sucks the air in but it ends up sucking the leaves in and then that's what causes it to rip and the leaves go inside and they uh, it could actually if you let it stay like that for a while then it will you'll end up with the uh, the motor uh, apparently the bearing will go out and we'll have to replace the motor. Hopefully it's not what I have now because it hasn't been doing it for long. So uh, we're trying to get it fixed. Um, so far I unplugged the battery. I removed the negative terminal and I unplugged. There was a one here. It's got two cables. It's got, so it's a 10 millimeter. It's got this one here, and then this one goes right below it. So I move this, I put it aside, and there is a push clip here. So I got this part up here, but on this side, it's got a Torx. So since I am gonna remove this big cover, I saw a video where the guy said it was easier for him to remove this big cover and then take care of this. Um, this is the air recirculating uh, sensor that we have to unplug as well. That has a plug at the bottom. That's the um, air recirculating uh, sensor. Uh, you see a lot of leaves in there that we got to clean all that up. I don't know how it gets here. It's pretty, maybe through, maybe it comes through here. Or maybe uh, through the side. Alright, so, yeah, let's see. So, I'm gonna start with this one just to see what it looks like. I think we remove this and then it kind of lifts up from this side and it comes out because it's going into two holes here. This one is a T20, just so you know, it's a T20. So, just like I thought, you know, it, these, see them, they go inside these two holes. So pretty much, you have one release here, this one. You just kind of push it away from the retaining clip, push it away, it comes up. Remove the T20 here, and then it'll just lift. And then watch out for this thick cable that was routed through here, under, so take it out, set it aside, and then pull this, and it kind of flips over so that's that now you see there is the is that film it's completely destroyed i really hope the fan blower is not out it wasn't damaged so let's hope for that didn't have any issues with the ac so we got one over there and i think there is one there you see it and then one there, 
and then one down there. I believe they're all T20, but uh, let's find out. Okay, so there was no issue in moving three of them. This one, there's one down there, and there's one back here. So I moved all three of them using just a regular, you know, screwdriver with the Torx bit head. But when I want to do this one, obviously I couldn't, so I'm using this. But that's a 220, and this allows me, the low profile allows me to get in there, and it's magnetic, so. Yeah, so you see what I'm doing, okay? I know. I didn't have to take it all the way out, I just realized it was just out enough that it's not touching the bottom, that it's not screwed on to the bottom piece. And then I just literally tugged on the screw and the thing came off. So the only thing is we've got this S recirculating sensor that has to be unplugged. So I think you can get away with uh, pulling the cover and then trying to unplug it but uh, the plug has a push push tab but it's not on the front it's on this side so what I did was with my right hand I pushed on the tab and with the left one I went and I tugged on the edge of the connector with the screwdriver boom and it slid right out and you see it is right there and this is what it looked like Literally, why am I putting this on the engine? My bad, that was, uh, that was not needed. So, this is what it looks like. It's completely destroyed. And that's the uh, recirculating air sensor, which I'm gonna have push. It's got, it's, it's just from the, from the back, push the two tabs and it comes out and then just relocate it to the new cover. But yeah, this one is like, literally like, it's falling apart. All right, so now, we're not done because you see all that stuff, all that good. Man, I need a vacuum in here. Yeah, I think I need a vacuum. Wow. Okay, I see it. a Torx there. The torques there and back there and I think that's what I need for now I'll probably take that plug out so I see one Torx I see one Torx there here and then this one doesn't look like yeah it's part of it it's not holding it somewhere and that one I think I got three of them that I have to remove I'm gonna take this whole box out with the blower mold and everything because I have to open it and remove all the leaves that are inside let's see if we have anything inside uh, you see them I don't know if you can see them but they're all the way inside let me try to zoom in you see them Yeah, I don't know how many are in there, so we gotta get rid of them. Correction, we got four. So one, two, three, and then four. Right there at the bottom. Let's see. Let me just try to give you as much information as possible right there my finger is pointing right there and then you have the plug here so this plug has got two push tabs on both sides so it goes like this right it goes like this so you gotta go at it from both sides this one and this one this one and this one push in pull out so once you pull up it comes right off and 
Let's see if there is anything. Oh, there's another one here. You see it? There's another one. This one, it's got a push tab on the front. So let's see. Yep, push tab on the front. That's disconnected. And here it is, guys. Here it is. Okay, so let's go see what's going on here. Oh, well, you guys are some vacuuming, that's for sure. And I guess. I guess the best way to avoid this from happening again is periodically clean up all those leaves so they don't, so they don't get sucked in. So you just gotta remove the plastic with those three rivets, the push rivets, and then try to. I, I got a small, where is it? I got a small vacuum, right? I got a small vacuum there, so I'm probably gonna use that guy. So just by looking at it, it looks like there's one, two, three, and then the fourth one here. So four of them to remove, I'm gonna call this the cap. But honestly, it's really dirty with that, you know, when that when that film got disintegrated, it, it, it's like, it's everywhere. So I gotta clean this because you know, can you imagine this being blown into your cabin? Oh, the, which means now I have to change the uh, cabin filter. I changed them not too long ago, but I gotta change them again because they must have all this stuff. They they kept it from coming into the uh, through the vents. So, all right. So I'm gonna take these off and uh, get back to you. So I removed the four screws I told you about. And now we're gonna see if this thing is gonna easily come off. All right, look at that. All right, so looks like we gotta remove a, one plug here. Actually, I'm just gonna set it aside, right? I mean, look at this, guys, what I was telling you about. You see how dirty this thing is? Look at it, you see how dirty? I mean, can you imagine if it wasn't for the cabin filters, you'd be breathing this in? Yeah, can you imagine? These few leaves are causing all this mess. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like, what's up with this? Alright, so I gotta clean it anyway. So I'm gonna get a fan, clean this whole thing here, clean the housing. I mean, this is pretty important. It's, it's, it's pulling air into your cabin. I mean, you're breathing this every time you're driving. Oh man, I can just, I can't wait to take those cabin filters out. That's insane. Here I cleaned it. So it's much better than it was. Be careful when you clean these, these are flaps. I didn't want to try to open them or anything because I think they're electrically controlled, so I'm not going to even try. I was able to uh, clean this as well, but um, I try to use it because this is plastic, right? So I try to use, I didn't have a toothbrush. I wish I, I, wish I had a toothbrush. I try to use this and gently just to break all the, the dirt that was there. And uh, a lot of it was, it was, it was being kicked up. So 
hopefully you see it over there but because it's plastic and I don't want to mess with the fins you know and the twisting them breaking them that I did I just used an air can and got everything I could I think it's important to clean it because I mean this is what's bringing the air into your cabin right so you don't want to be breathing this when you put this back you put the cover back this cover right here just think of this and line it up in here you see this feeds into this and then just line up the holes where where they go so as such i'm going to try to show it to you here. see like that and then here just line it up and that's it you don't put any screws because the screws will go on when the cover goes on. Right, let me try to figure this out. Alright, so when you're putting this cover back on, I feel like the easiest way for you to figure it out is you see that corner right there? This one here? It's gonna line up where the plug goes. So remember, the corner that's like by itself where both flaps are the flaps are open it goes in there and boom just like that now I'm gonna put the four screws at the gap four screws I feel like I need to uh, put an emphasis on this this is the connecting vent into the uh, fan blower right and you see it's got little openings at the bottom you see the little slits in there well that's because this has to slide in there and then this part will grab on to the top so it's kind of gonna finish it's gonna finish this so this one holds the bottom portion of the fan blower and then the fan blower is going to hold the top portion of this with these two what do you want to call them air lobes so when we slide it in there we got to be careful to make sure that it is properly sealed with the uh, with the intake yeah you uh you kind of wiggle it and then uh it comes to a point where it's going to seal. And you see... Uh, there you go. You see? That's how it's got to be. So make sure you get it properly sealed, guys. When it's time to put the cover back in, it's easier if you go back first and then just don't forget about this cable here. And before you seat it all the way down, make sure you put this plug back. It uh, goes one way, so you can't really put it the wrong way. Alright, that's it. Oh, I forgot the red cable. That's on the other side. This one. That one will plug on on top. It's a 10 millimeter. And there you go. It comes with the screws, so you don't have to um realize you, you have no use for them. I mean you can keep them whatever, but it comes with it. So, 
let's uh, put it back in. And right, just to recap, we're done with this. Put this back. This cable, it has this grommet here, slides in. It goes first, then this one goes on top of it, and you got a 10 millimeter nut. And then this is just the cap. Put the cap, you got two holes in it. And just push it down. You don't touch this, any of this stays the same. You have one screw here. And then that's about it. You got a clip here that you have to get under and push it out away from the uh, housing. And then those have to, um, um, they go into uh, holes. They got like these pins that go inside. And then you put your strut because this has to come out too, give you more space. And then you put the cover back. Checking this railing here, make sure that it's clean. Clean it out. Clean over there, you see I gotta go over there and clean that. And uh, it's like uh, moving forward, you gotta make sure you once in a while go in here, especially if you park under trees, you're prone to have that problem. But you see, uh, this is supposed to go in here, but I guess maybe me or the previous owner the first time, they don't line this up correctly, and now this one is all deformed.